341 YouTube Live Yoga Routine. That means I've been doing yoga every day for 341 days in a row. Every morning, 5.30 a.m. Arizona time, Mountain Standard Time. So that means I have going to 365. The math, 51, 61. That's what, 24 more to go. Yay. Yay to me. And nobody's watched these videos for 340. <laughs> I'm just joking. Um, one or two people popped in every once in a while. That's all good. That's all good. It's about a personal um, commitment I made to myself. And I will go to 365 if something doesn't come up, anything can happen. But that's my goal. And of course, I wanted subscribers. I wanted people to watch the videos, but that's not what happened. And it is what it is, man. It is what it is, which is a yoga concept. <sighs> Acceptance, a direction, because these videos have allowed me to learn how to just relax, man, and be myself on camera. I have previous videos that I did 10 years ago and stuff, and something when that camera pops up, you're like, Ooh, you freeze up and you try to be perfect. And I learned a long time ago, maybe around 150, the 150th yoga routine that doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Just be you, dog. If it's captured on camera that you mess up, so what? That's a yoga concept. And that's one of the main things I take away from the, these, these uh, yoga routines. So today we're going to do two slow moving sun salutations, focusing 100% on breathing. Because that focus point is what allows the sun salutations to become a form of a moving meditation. Just because you're moving doesn't mean you're not meditating. Meditation and yoga is when the mind and body connects as one, one with existence, and you are still. You're moving, but you're still mentally. So the mind and body becomes one, and that happens because you're focused on the focus point, which is the breathing, 100% focus on the breathing. And I'll lead you through the two sun salutations. Don't worry about how to do them. And then we're going to go down to a sitting pose, a sitting meditation, and continue to watch your breathing. And between that, I'm, I forgot to say, is a tree pose, the king dance balance poses. So when the mind is still, the body is still. Or you might just not have balance physically. But when the mind is still, the body is still. You find that balance, even if you have to use the wall, even if you have to keep on going back and forth, like, oh, I got my balance. Oh, no, I don't. Oh, I do. Because that allows you to know where you are. And that's what yoga is about. Learning where you are. Accepting who you are. Essentially taking that mindset off the yoga mat and accepting who you are, where you are. And then you can figure out, okay, I need to go this way, that way. But you got to have a base first, a base of truth. Or it will allow you to reinterpret where you are and who you are. And you can be like, man, I'm an awesome person. I'm an awesome, can't speak, I'm an awesome person. I love my job love my family. This allows you to do that. We interpret everything. Or it allows you to say, you know what? My job sucks. I'm out. And then allows you to figure all that out. One step at a time. So, two sun salutations. Don't worry about how to do them. We'll lead you through everything. Step by step. So, mountain pose. Feet are shoulder width apart. Toes go up, spread the toes as wide as you can, then each toe touches the floor one at a time. Knees are bent, hips are toes in, arms relax, shoulders are relaxed. And 
and then you're going to lengthen up. So think of a string on top of the head. This is your head. I can't, my hand disappears when I do that. Pull yourself up, lengthen up, straighten up the skeleton, then let the skeleton stand as if you were just your skeleton. So you're finding that balance that allow, that threads through the skeleton, that stability that threads through the skeleton, that allows the skeleton to stand as if you were just your skeleton. So that means it's an experience. Don't think about how the pose should look. That's not what we're doing. That's not the type of yoga we're doing. You are experiencing yoga. Letting go of thoughts. Become that balance. Become that stability. Stillness that allows the skeleton to stand as if you were just your skeleton. Then let that balance transfer to the mind, allowing the mind to become balance, allowing the mind to become stability, allowing the mind to become stillness. The mind and body become one because they both dissolve into balance. They both dissolve into stability, into stillness. Those are just words for yoga. You are experiencing yoga. You're not doing yoga. You are yoga. Now you're gonna watch yourself breathe here. There's many ways to do it, but a good way is you watch your belly. It's a natural breath that you're watching. So when you inhale, the belly expands. When you exhale, the belly goes in. You pay attention to that. You watch that. You don't control it. You let go and watch it. Or you bring your focus to the tip of the nose and watch the air go in and out. Again, don't control it, just Watch it. 100% focus on the breathing. Now bring the palms together, thumbs to the heart center. Staying focused on the breathing. Push the arms out of the back. Inhale, inhale as much as you can slowly. Going into the pose as much as you think, hey, I shouldn't go any more. Figure out where that's at, inhaling slowly, then exhale. As you exhale, you hinge forward from the lower back, reaching out, back is straight as you go down, and then you're just gonna fall into the rag doll. With the rag doll, the arms are dangling, the head is dangling. You release all the tension you feel, and you just focus on the breathing. Watch yourself breathe. Don't control it. Just watch it. Bring the palms to the calves, elbows into the sides of the legs. Pull yourself in and down. Forehands go to the knees. Get all the air out slowly. Then release the breathing. And just watch yourself breathe. Now, in this pose, you pull yourself in and down, but then you release and become one with the pose. So the effort dissolves, the trying dissolves. As you inhale, the belly swells with air, and it pushes you out of the pose slightly. Let yourself be pushed out. You're letting go. When you exhale, the belly goes in, and you go back into the pose. Let yourself go back into the pose. It's a very subtle, subtle movement. It's very important because you're aware of that subtleness. You're not focused on it. You're focusing 100% on the breathing, but you're aware of the subtleness. You're aware of what's being stretched. You're aware that you're one with the pose. Focus on the breathing. Arms to the sides of the feet, left leg is back into a low lunge. With a low lunge, shove the foot to the floor in the back, knees to the floor, hips are square, pushing forward diagonally. Back's arching, head is up. Inhaling slowly, and then release the breathing, and just watch yourself breathe.
Now with the back foot, curl the toes under, knee goes up into a high lunge. You're just gonna settle in the high lunge. We're gonna use it as a transition pose, but you settle first before you go into the downward dog. Then going into the downward dog, exhale all the air out slowly, arms are straight, legs straight, elbows to the ceiling, heels towards the floor, pushing into it. No tension in the neck, so the head dangles. And then just release the breathing. And just watch yourself breathe. On the downward dog, you are pushing into this pose, but you push into the spot right before you feel like, hey, I shouldn't go any further. Find that spot, settle, accept, and just watch yourself breathe. It's all a meditation. Then you slide into the upper dog, drop down to the knees and the chest. And you slide up, tops of the feet are to the floor, palms are to the floor, doing like a scoop. Step where you are and just watch yourself breathe. Release the breathing and just watch it. It's a natural breath, You're not controlling it, You're just watching. And then back to downward dog, pushing into it, arms are straight, legs are straight, tailbones to the ceiling, heels are towards the floor, no tension in the neck, head dangles, exhaling all there out slowly, then release the breathing, and just watch yourself breathe. And left foot is up between the hands into a low lunge, low lunge, top the foot to the floor in the back, knees to the floor, hips are square, pushing forward diagonally back, it's arching, head is up, inhaling, same thing, you're doing a scoop, you're scooping out, just do the best you can, you don't judge it, you just watch yourself breathe, get into pose, settle, accept, and just focus on the breathing. You're going to go into a high lunge, curl the toes under the back, knee goes up, settle on the high lunge. We're just using it as a tra transition pose. Settle, then move into the standing forward bend. Pull yourself in and down, palms to the calves, elbows into the sides of the legs, pull yourself in and down. Get to the spot right before you like, hey, shouldn't go any further. Find that spot, settle, accept, and just watch yourself breathe. Palms together, reach out, up and back, inhale. Inhale as much as you can slowly, then turn the palms out. Push the air down and out. Palms go together. And again, inhale. Last one, inhale as much as you can. Going into the pillows as much as you think, hey, shouldn't go any further. Find that spot, settle, accept, and then exhale. As you exhale, you hinge forward from the lower back. Back is straight as you go down, palms to the calves, elbows into the sides of the legs, pull yourself in and down, get all there out, forehead's going to the knees, then release the breathing, and watch yourself breathe. And then left leg is back into a little lunge, with a little lunge, up the foot to the floor, the back knees to the floor. Hips are square, pushing forward diagonally. You're doing a scoop. Make sure the front knee's not over the toes. If it is, lengthen up some. Inhale slowly and release the breathing. And watch yourself breathe. And with the back foot, curl the toes under, knee goes up, high lunge, just settle the high lunge for a second or so, get settled, then move in the downward dog, pushing into it, arms straight, legs straight, really push into it now, 
Tailbones to the ceiling, heels are towards the floor. Release the breathing and watch yourself breathe. Then you're gonna slide into the upper dog, drop down to the knees and the chest, and you can slide up. Tops of the feet are to the floor, palms are to the floor. You're doing a scoop, so you're scooping out, inhaling as much as you can, and release the breathing. And watch yourself breathe. Back to downward dog. Exhale, get all the air out. Exhale, arms are straight, legs are straight. Really push into it. And release the breathing. Watch yourself breathe. Left foot is up between the hands into a low lunge. Low lunge up the foot to the floor and the back knees to the floor. Hips are square, pushing forward diagonally back as arching head is up. Make sure the front knee is not over the toes. If it is, lengthen up some. And release the breathing and watch yourself breathe. And with the back foot, curl the toes under, knee goes up, high lunge, just so the high lunge. First, then move into the standing forward bend, pull yourself in and down. Get all there out, all there, knees. Pull yourself in and down. And release the breathing. Watch yourself breathe. Put your palms together, reach out, up and back. Inhale, inhale as much as you can. Turn the palms out. Push your air down and out. Exhale. Palms together, thumbs to the heart center. And go back to mountain pose. Mountain pose, feet are shoulder width apart, toes go up. Spread the toes as wide as you can. Each toe touches the floor one at a time. Knees are bent, hips are tilted. Arms relax, shoulders relax. Find a nice spot where the skeleton stands as if you were just your skeleton. Then let that balance transfer to the mind, allowing the mind to become stable and balance. And just watch yourself breathe. Grab my phone. Don't know what time it is. Oh, my phone was here. And I'll take a guess. And we're going to do a tree. And right from the tree, we're going to go into the King Dancer. Modify these how you have to. We're not going to stay in them long, so do the best you can. If you need to go to a wall for the balance, that's what you do. If you need to bring your foot up and down, that's what you do. You're finding out where you are. It's about you. Don't try to be somewhere. Accept where you are. So left foot is up. Bottom of the left foot goes inside of the right leg. Knee pushes back. Try to get it square. Shoulders are square. Palms together. Lock the fingers. Point the middle fingers Left thumb is over the right thumb if you want. You don't have to do that. Whoa. So just a symbolic hand gesture. Thumbs to the heart center. Do the best you can. Arms go up. Technically, you're inhaling here, and then you release the breathing, and just watch yourself breathe. Or just do the best you can. Do what you can. Find out where you are. Accept it. It's all good. I'm going to stay here long. Don't worry about it. Then arms come down, thumbs to the heart center. Then you're going to grab the left foot, push the left foot into the hand, arm, right arm goes up, reaching up. This is all we're going to do. Technically, you could go down if you like, if that's where you are, and you just do the best you can. Reaching up, push the foot into the hand, inhaling. Exhaling, watching yourself breathe. It's a natural breath that you're watching. It's all about meditation. Can't speak. Blah, 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 blah. And then release. Shake it up. And then the other side. So you get in the mount pose first. Settle in the mount pose. Toes go up. 
Spread the toes, each toe touches the floor one at a time. Find that balance where the skeleton stands in the mountain pose. Then you move into the tree. So right foot goes up, bottom of the right foot goes inside of the left leg. Right knee goes back, square it up. Shoulders are square, do the best you can, palms together. Lock the thumbs, point the middle fingers. Left thumb is over the right thumb. You don't have to do that, does it matter? And then technically, arms go up. Inhale, or just bring the arms up. You don't have to do all those little details. Should you? Nope. Do what you want to do. It's about you. And just watch yourself breathe. And once you went up, you just release the breathing. You watch yourself breathe. Tap it into that balance. If you're going back and forth and you're putting the foot down and you're touching the wall, that's all good. That's where you are, so it's perfect. And then arms come down, thumbs to the heart center, and grab the foot, let the arm is up, reaching up, push the foot into the hand, this is where we're going to stay, if you want to go down further, you can, I don't, so I'm not, reaching up, reaching up, and then releasing the breathing, watching yourself breathe, we're not going to stay here long, go ahead and release, shake it out, now, I don't have my phone, I don't know where I'm at time-wise, I don't know where my phone is. I'm going to go see my phone. Aha! Here you are. Good. So, staying in a meditative state, you're going to go down to a uh, sitting, uh, sitting easy pose. I'm going to get my pillow. See? I was very, very prepared for this one. That's a joke. It's called sarcasm. I was prepared, but I thought I had my pillow over here and my phone. See, I was in a meditative state. <laughs> so, your finger got caught on the couch. What a great yoga instructor, just falling everywhere. <clears throat> okay, so the easy pose is the modification of the lotus. Get careful. It's called the easy pose, so you get comfortable. That means if you're in it, you have to have one leg out. That's what you do. You need to lean against the wall. That's what you do. Halfway through the meditation, we're going to go five minutes. You need to adjust. You adjust. Don't fight that. That's where you are. You have to adjust. So if you have an itch, get it on your knee. Itch it. You have to itch it because what will happen, you'll focus on that itch, and then you won't be able to meditate. If your mind and body is connecting, and you get an itch, and you itch, and you keep your focus on the breathing, you're doing yoga. Don't fight the itch, because it will throw you off. Now, some yoga instructors say, ignore it, ignore it. But personally, I know sometimes you can try to ignore it, and it just won't happen. And then you could have a spider on your face. You don't even know it. Like, nope, this is my mind telling me to itch so my body will move. No, you got a spider on your face, dog. So, let me see. Clock up. Five minutes. So, keep on saying so. Just focus on breathing. Same thing we've been doing. Watch the belly. It's a natural breath. You're just going to watch it, or you bring your folks to the nose. Watch. You go in and out. It's a natural breath. So you don't control it. And what will happen, most likely, is your mind will wander. And you'll think about coffee, your job, your kids, your wife, your husband, whatever it may be. And then you realize, hey, I didn't watch myself breathe. And you could be doing that for 30, 40 seconds. Just bring your focus back to the breathing. And it'll happen again. And then just bring your focus back to the breathing. And it could happen again. Just keep on bringing your focus back to the breathing. You know, watch yourself breathe. It's a natural breath that you're watching. You're not controlling it. So you just let go and watch it. Don't try to let go. Once you try, you're not letting go. Trying is not letting go. So five minutes. Just watch yourself breathe.
Let's go with thumbs to the heart center. <laughs> Man, I just realized something. At the very end of my meditation there, and I think I did this whole routine <laughs> on the wrong channel, on the wrong YouTube channel. I might not, but I, I've like I was on my my uh, other channel. I have a yoga channel, and also I have an Islam channel. I separate the two because no one, no one can understand that, that it's all the same. And yoga, and, and, and integral yoga, all the different paths lead to the same uh, oneness, capital one, I mean capital O, oneness, uh, in yoga. And in and, and, and Islam too, depending on your interpretation, of course. And it's all good. But I just realized, like, man, I think I did this whole yoga routine on my Islam channel, which is fine. I mean, so I don't know what to do. I've been doing 341 days of yoga every day, and I did it on the wrong channel today. So, anyways, that's part of yoga, part of the acceptance. Doesn't matter. Anyways, I will see you tomorrow at 5.30 a.m. Not on this channel. If I did it, I might not have but on the other yoga, on my other channel, which is uh, .com yoga, D-O-T-C-O-M yoga. So I'm going to say peace and love. Funny.